Hi guys, how's it going? In this video we'll try to uh, fix our update method which will eventually save the updated uh, data. For example, this is a new project and we, um, we can add a new project. But if you want to edit this project, we can click edit and that brings up this data pre-field for us and we can add it whatever we want. For example, I want to change this something I want to change for example and then when I try to submit this and if I open the firebug if you have been following along you'll notice that in your firebug under a uh, net you can see that it's not doing anything it's trying to post but it can't find the because there's no method right now update method in our control so let's go fix it up right now so let's uh, open up the editor of uh, your choice I'm just going to use PHP Storm here. You can choose whatever you want. And go ahead and open this uh, project controller. In the project controller, we're going to be creating, uh, we're going to be updating this uh, resourceful uh, method called update, which is provided to us by Laravel Boot, uh, sort, of, sort of a boilerplate. It's already there. If you don't have it, you can, you can create one. And if you already have then that means you, you you're using resourceful routes you don't need to register this now what it requires is two things number one it requires then an instance of the project uh, because we are updating a project let's just store it in a project variable and also it requires uh, we want to make sure the data that's being updated it's still valid so we have to validate the data using our project request so let's just call it a request and now what happens is again same thing very first thing is we're gonna run a check whether the request that's coming is Ajax then do this else do this which means just a usual HTTP request now we'll be targeting uh, both of them so let's just go here where we create a new project and copy everything from the new project this is our create method which is the store basically and then paste right under here and what it does is it creates the slug again from the new name of the project we're going to create a slug now we don't need really uh, authenticated user projects create we don't need to say that way because we're passing in the instance of the project so we can we can update that so let's just say project and we'll call uh, update method on it which is update which will update the name the slug and the description and the due date now the slug is going to be this slug variable and request description name and due date that's fine and after that we want to return back to project with a success message called the project with this name has been successfully updated and uh, in this video uh, that uh, will be mainly focusing on the update method uh, so we've already done for the usual request if it's not ajax if the dot javascript has been disabled for some reason or something it's it's going it's to take care of that part now let's focus on the Ajax. So again, same thing, we can copy uh, some of the code, saves us a bit of time, and we can come back here and paste. Again, same, same thing here, we can say uh, project update and it's going to update the name description slug and request and um, response will be awesome close this model window by clicking the top right corner and then we're going to return the response which basically is this message this message we're displaying which will be displayed in our model window that's it that's all we need to do so let's go back to the browser and see if it works add it I'm gonna call it a uh, YouTube let's just call it swimming uh, swimming tots 
or swimming lessons. Um, if we change the description, we can't really see here because we haven't really created a show method yet, which we'll do in the next video. So let's just change the name for the moment because we're displaying name only. So let's just update. For some reason, it's been disabled because uh, I don't know why. So it's disabled again. The reason is previously, if I ran a script that has uh, this, let's just log out for a second. and log back in and see if it gives me a chance to submit this time it does give me a chance so for some reason it was setting up that class on my button but that's okay if you run into that issue if that you have tried uh, submitting and of course there was no method in the place for the first time just log out and log in it's gonna get rid of some of the um, values you know okay let's just change this from cache or something anyway so okay I'm gonna go ahead and change the data as well and it's giving me 27 uh, 01 2016 which is of course I don't know for some reason it's not opening up the date uh, uh, picker but if I want to get rid of this and see if it opens now now it doesn't okay we're gonna have to fix that too in the future we'll we'll see how we can fix that because the data is coming from database right now and possibly it's a string or something we may have to fix it okay anyway let's focus focus on uh, updating these values okay let's click update and it does it does update for us but as you can see we want to display a message and then we want to make sure that this window is closed only when we close it so if you say update again it does that so that's our update uh, method uh, in the next video we can fix this um, model window behavior make it a little bit more pleasant like this one if I add a new task for example if I add something here um, I get a chance to the description has to be longer than 10 characters I get I get a chance to to see the confirmation and I can add more more of these projects and and then I can close and then it refreshes the browser which makes complete sense in terms of user behavior but if I try to go here and then I edit this it just goes away I don't like that so in the next video we'll be fixing that also we'll fix the date stamp so we can see the date picker uh, when we are running edit method I want to see date picker when I click here the date picker should pop up and this date value should be selected so I can edit it or update it well thank you very much for watching this video and make sure to post some comments and likes and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you very much